So eBay is great for watches. If you go on eBay, you can find tons of really great watches on there. But for the number of great watches you can find, there is an equal number of horrible watches on eBay. If you browse eBay, there are tons of really bad watches, not fake watches. These are watches that are being sold by actual sellers. They are just absolutely horrible designs. And today I've picked 10 of those watches. Now I say this is a top 10, but I really could make a top 10,000 with the number of horrible watches there are on eBay. And I'm gonna get right into it. So the first watch on my list is called OULM, Ohm Men's Wristwatches, Wristwatch Classic Sports Multi-Time Zone Military Male Watch. It's going for $13.63, $4.26 for shipping. So that is a lot of money compared to the actual price of the watch itself. It is a three time zone watch. One of the time zones is a chronograph. There's two other time zones. I know that because it says time two and time three next to them. I believe this has three different movements in it. All three of them quartz. This is over 50 millimeters. It's sort of an homage to diesel watches, which you guys know I am very fond of. And the best part about this watch, it is actually endorsed by David Beckham. I know that because there's an actual picture of David Beckham next to this watch. I don't believe it's Photoshopped. It looks very realistic. And apparently, and I'm breaking that news or this news here first, David Beckham has left Tudor. He is no longer associated with Tudor. He is now associated with Ohm Men's Watches, Wristwatch Classic Sports, Multi-Time Zone Military Male Watch. This is big news, guys. Huge news here, and you heard it here first. Don't forget, this watch retailing for $13.63. Uh, Tudor, a little bit more expensive, so a slight downgrade for David Beckham, but I think he's gonna do well at Ohm. So, next watch on my list, and definitely one of the weirdest watches I have ever seen in my life. It's $7.66, so it's the cheapest watch on this list. However, I don't believe it actually tells time. So in the photos on the actual auction itself, all of the photos, it does not actually clearly display the time. There are two different sections of the watch. It looks like there's two different eights on the watch stacked over each other in red. Uh, the entire watch is sort of a bracelet. It's called Men's Quartz Watches Digital Black Strap Blue Light Personalized Modern, all one word, fashion. So very clear that this is a watch, it is quartz, it's black or blue, I'm not sure, There and then light, I, I don't know, there's a lot of different words in the title. It's personalized in some way, I don't know, and it's modern, that's for sure. And there's fashion mixed in here. So a lot going on in this watch, $7.66, definitely not worth it, uh, don't pick one up. Next on the list, $27.99, the most expensive watch on this list. That's because it's an homage of a Hamilton Ventura. Now, I say it's an homage of the Hamilton Ventura, however, it looks like it was designed by someone who just fell down a flight of stairs and then immediately designed this watch. So it looks like the bracelet is just from another watch. The entire case is polished, however, the bracelet is completely brushed and there's no transition whatsoever. But that's not the worst part. The worst part is the dial itself. It's an automatic watch. You can see part of the movement through the dial, which looks terrible. The dial setup and the colors that they've used here, it looks like a clown was dismembered and then rearranged on a dial of a watch. It's yellow, it's red, it's black, it's green, it's blue. There's a crown somewhere in here, like an hour hand, which is yellow. And then there's a blue thing on the minute hand. I don't even know what is going on. Very, very weird watch. And then they just decided to put rivets on the actual bezel itself for no reason. And by the way, they aren't even spaced equally on the actual bezel. It looks ridiculous. The person who designed this, like I said, must have fallen down a flight of stairs and then immediately designed this watch or was high and then fell down a flight of stairs and then designed this watch. I think that's actually what happened. Poor guy, uh, hopefully he's okay. Uh, but he is selling the watch that he designed on eBay. It is $28. Definitely do not buy this unless you don't like yourself or uh, you hate somebody and you wanna buy them a watch. It would probably be a very nice gift. Next on the list is a men's quartz watch, gold face, 
faux leather band retro totems time analog luxury. And I think that last word, luxury, is the key word here. This is a $23.85 watch, free shipping. It is in gold, and I mean gold. There is a gold dial, it is a gold case, gold crown. The strap itself is sort of an embossed plastic, which has a very similar motif to what is embossed on the actual case and dial. There are four little diamonds, what I assume is just glass, on the eyes of the dragon on the dial. And then there's some sort of blue on the dial itself. I can't actually identify what that is. The hands are very weird. There's a huge crown on here, which is an onion crown. Very ugly watch. Definitely one of the uglier watches in this lineup of watches. Now, if you were colorblind, you still would be offended by this watch in every single way. It is an assault on the senses. In I think if you touch this watch, you look at this watch, I'm sure that this watch does not smell good. It is an assault on your senses. It's very, very bad. Uh, again, if you do not like somebody, this is a very nice watch to buy them. Uh, however, I do not know who is buying this watch. Maybe uh, an undertaker. Maybe an undertaker would buy this watch. Someone who is around a lot of dead people uh, and they really just don't like themselves anymore. Uh, next on the list is one of my favorites out of the entire group. And that is because of the name. And it's actually insulting and weird at the same time. It's called Men's 14 Carat Gold Plated Simulated Diamond, which thank you for telling me they're simulated because it's a $26.99 watch. I'm pretty sure that they're gonna be simulated. Uh, simulated Diamond Hip Hop Rapper Techno Pave Watch. Now the name on the actual dial is Techno Pave. They actually put the word quartz on the dial as well. There are giant fake diamonds in the bezel of this watch. The entire watch is covered in fake diamonds. The entire dial is pave, the bracelet, the case. However, I think the most insulting part about this is the hip hop rapper. So they're saying that hip hop rappers wear watches like this. And I'm sure there are rappers out there with diamond watches, which there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, especially if you're a rapper and you want people to know that you make money and you want to wear a nice watch. Uh, but I'm sure that no self-respecting hip-hop rapper would ever wear this watch. Uh, I think a homeless person would actually turn away this watch. It is hideous. Absolutely hideous. It says Techno Pave on the dial itself. What is Techno Pave? I don't want to find out. It sounds like something that really burns and I don't wanna have it. So, moving on to the next watch. Now, this watch is $19.92, you get free shipping. This is the perfect watch for someone who has given up on life. If you have decided that life is too difficult, life is too long, you no longer wanna live, this is the watch for you. It is called Men's Quartz Watch Brown, Leather Strap, Matte Analog, Date Display, Wristwatch and it's hilarious. It's almost as if I gave a piece of paper and a pen to my child and I said, draw me a watch. And this is what they came up with. It is just a round watch with the traditional lug look. It's in a gold color, baton indices, little stick hands, and then a date just floating somewhere near the middle of the dial. It is absolutely horrible. It's devoid of anything. I would rather that dragon watch than this watch because it is so plain uh, and it's just terrible. In my opinion, this is just one of the worst out of all of them. And it is a 50 millimeter watch. Now, technically I should have let in with that. This is a 50, it's a dinner plate. It's a dinner plate for your wrist, 50 millimeters, uh, $19.92. So if you do run out of plates, you could use your watch and then throw away the watch when you are done. 30 meters of water resistance, uh, and they call this the Men's Quartz Watch Brown Leather Strap Matte Analog Date Display Wrist Luxury. Um, there is nothing luxurious about this watch whatsoever, especially that date window. I love date windows, which look absolutely out of place, and this is completely out of place. It's just floating in the middle of the dial. Very well done. Uh, $19.92. Like I said, 
if you are about to commit suicide but you need a watch to tell the time of a precisely when you want to die, this is the perfect watch. You're not going to spend a lot of money. It's not going to excite you. You're never going to change your mind. When you look at the watch, you're going to say, you know what? I want to live. You're going to look at this watch. You're going to say, you know what? I want to die. I'm ready. And that's it. Perfect watch for that and definitely a purpose. So if you have an extra 20 bucks and you're about to commit suicide, this is the watch for you. Next is a crazy, crazy watch. What happens when you take a really nice design, a classic design, an iconic design, and then you engrave the crap out of it? Well, you get the Reolis, and I'm not sure if I'm saying this right, De Ombre Retro Gold Men's Watch Quartz Casual Waterproof Watches. I don't know why they insist on putting watch twice and in plural and sometimes singular, sometimes it's Ritz watch. I don't understand. It's called the Anola. It has an obvious case shape that is very similar to the Nautilus, to the Patek Philippe Nautilus. However, what they have done is they engraved the entire case, the entire bracelet. It has a blue dial, crazy looking watch. This is what happens when you take a really nice design a simple design and then overcomplicate it to the point where it looks absolutely ridiculous. I have nothing else to say about this watch. $24.99, free shipping. If you order it today, you get free three-day shipping. So again, I don't know if you need this for Memorial Day weekend. Well, that's just passed. Maybe for Christmas. I don't know. Just It's just, please don't buy this watch. Moving on to the next watch. This one I add it here and it's for the ladies. This is, I literally added this just for the name. It's called the Miss Fox 2742. I don't know why, they, I don't know why they put that number there. Elegant woman watch, luxury brand, female wristwatch, Japan, movement 30 meters, W. Retail on this or price on eBay is $22 and two cents and the pictures on here are hilarious they put like a glint of shine where the actual diamonds are i gotta admit it's not the worst looking watch out of all of the watches that we have reviewed so far it is a woman's watch it's actually kind of ironic because that's how i refer to my wife i call her miss fox um and it's just a brown dial they have a purple dial they have a two-tone different iterations it's really not that bad the design is not that bad it's the name that really gets me uh miss fox and then the title i mean miss fox 2742 who the hell who's searching for that how do people even find these watches that's what i'm asking i don't know how people find these watches next on the list is another one that has sort of a spanish name in it i don't know why they put spanish in certain ones and Certain ones they don't. A lot of these are actually from very similar buyers. But this one has a really funny name and it sort of looks like a robot head. It is an incredibly weird looking watch. Now I'm not gonna say this is ugly, but it's not obviously a good looking watch. It's called the Bin Bono. Bin Bono. That's the name of the actual watch. They don't put that name in the actual title of the actual auction for some reason. Again, this retails for $23.97. You have a bunch of different colors that you could choose from. All of them are very weird looking. It's the Rejoles de Hombres. Again, I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. Stainless steel quartz watch men's luxury watches. Again, watch watches. I don't know why they do that. Uh, this sort of looks like a robot's head that they put onto a watch and it doesn't look like it's very easy to tell time on. Again, it's one of those watches where I've looked at all the pictures and I really cannot tell how you actually tell time on here very clearly. It doesn't look like you could accurately tell the time on this watch. Um, it does look like you cut off R2-D2's head or C-3PO's head actually uh, and put it on your wrist. Uh, maybe you colored it blue, maybe it's gold, maybe it's silver. That's what they've done here. There's black. Um, again, not the worst watch on this list, but definitely a horrible watch and uh, another watch that I definitely recommend you do not buy. Last but not least, we have the 611 Potential. That is the name of this watch. So when someone asks you, what watch do you have on your wrist? They can't tell by the giant 50 millimeter watch that you have on your wrist, the name. You're gonna have to tell them it's called the 611 Potential. 
What does that mean? I don't know. It seems like they took some random numbers and then a random word and put it on the dial. But there's a lot of random crap on this dial, so we're gonna get into it right now. $23.99 gets you into a 49 millimeter 611 potential. It's called, or the title on this one is, Men's Watch Quartz Digital White Dial Stainless Steel Band Analog Multifunction. And I have to say we've come a long way because this only has the word watch once. It is not plural, it is singular, and it's only once in the, in the actual title. I'm very proud of them, they've come a long way. This dial has three different time zones. You have a local and a home. Then at the bottom of the dial, you have a third time zone, which is in a circular sort of digital display. Above that is minute. It just says minute, and then it has the number 48 on the picture that I am looking at. I have no idea what that means. If it's a minute countdown, I don't know what that means. I, I really don't. And then below the actual logo, 6611 potential, is, and then there's like a plus sign in two boxes. I don't even know, I think that's the logo. Um, there's a date, and that's also a digital display. But there's a lot of other things going on in this dial. There are obviously two other time zones. There's orange, there's black, there's a hobnail pattern. Then there is vertical striping. There is an embossed area. It goes around some of the digital areas. There's screws. Then the case itself, never mind being 49 millimeters, has these stepped lugs, which look absolutely terrible. Straight lugs on the bracelet. Again, it looks like they just took a bracelet from off the floor of the, of the shop and said, okay, this bracelet will do. Or we just got a bracelet in. We got a case of bracelets. Let's throw it on this watch. And that's basically how they made that decision. There's a star on the crown. There's two different crowns. There's a left and right crown. Then there's four different pushers, two on each side. A lot going on in this watch, 49, uh, 49 millimeters, excuse me. And of course, I would say this is another one of those diesel homages. Horrible, horrible design. And when someone asks you what watch you're wearing, you're gonna have to say 6.11 potential plus box box. I don't know, I don't, is that what you call, I don't even know. And then there's like some stars, on, I, it's just very confusing. A lot going on in this watch. Uh, again, there is a lot of real estate to fill up, so I guess they have to do that uh, to, you know, fill up the white space on this dial. Uh, anyway, those are the watches that I have chosen. I think they're all terrible for their own right. Um, this one, uh, the last one that we just looked at, I think they're all in this vein, sort of uh, just thrown together. Really, their inspiration is just whatever is lying around in the office when they're designing these watches. I don't know what they're actually doing. They might be doing something else and designing the watch at the same time, and that's why you come up with these watches and the way that they look. Uh, but tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know if there are any watches that you guys know of from eBay, from anywhere else, that have such a terrible design, such a terrible name, uh, but are really, really cheap, because all of these were under 30 bucks. So that's one thing I do have to say. Even though they are terrible, they're all under 30 bucks. One of them was $7.66. Yes, you can't tell time on it, but it's only $7.66 shipped. That's not that bad. I might buy one. Anyway, tell me what you think in the comments below. Please don't forget, like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel. I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.